Okay guys, hey guys, it is 9.43 a.m. So the only things I've done today is eat breakfast, man. So uh, the plan for today, so edit, cause I'm gonna try to edit on here today. Cake boxing at 11.30 and my brother and dad are gonna go grocery shopping while we're at cake boxing. I don't know what we're doing in between there. And then at 7.30 we're going to, from 7.30 to 9 we're going on this pretty like sunset hike. It's a one to two mile hike and it's, it, you know, it's called like Hibernia Sunset Trail or something like that. So yeah. That should be, that should be cool. So I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> so bye. I have to put a security camera on him to make sure he doesn't do anything. Maybe he shouldn't. Cause he wants to play with fire. And I said, Zachary, no. No playing with fire. Especially with this age. But even in general, you don't play with fire. The only time you use fire is if you need to light a candle. Or you light a candle. No fire for you! No! And I have to go to the bathroom and I don't trust it! So I have to keep a security camera on it. I'll be right back. Hey, what are you doing? I'm scooting in. Okay, I was making sure you weren't gonna take down the camera and then just start playing with fire. Come on, man. Look at his feet. Oh, shit. Mm. Mm. I look trashy. I have dry blood on my face. Oh, ah, what did you do? I put my hand. Keep forgetting we don't have hand soap in here, so I keep having to go to mommy and daddy's bathroom. What did you do? Have you been entertaining to the camera? Have you said a single word? Has this just been Zachary sitting here doing nothing? Come on, speak, entertain you, and you entertain them. I have to go wash my hands. I have dry blood on my face. Cause I always do, cause I'm a savage. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I didn't do anything. What did you click on? Fine. <laughs> okay. I know the first few minutes of this video are so weird, but you know, don't. <laughs> Clickbait. Ready, ready, ready. <laughs> Thumbnail. <laughs> Zachary and I got a fist fight? Brawl. Brother brawl. Back up. Let me sit. Thank you. Go back. Go back. Go back. Seriously. Check the footage. Seriously, what have you done? Oh god. Okay. Okay. For the record, Zachary, I realized I just watched the footage. Zachary says that he had dry blood on his face, which he does. But for the record, no one hit him. He had a nosebleed. And I always have nosebleeds. He blood. has nosebleeds all the time. Randomly. I'm just, I'm just saying. No one abused him. It was just, it was just him, his natural nosebleeds. So I'm, for the record. Get off of me! We smell you. Why? I put vanilla bean oil on you. <sighs> it's got a spooky note. Oh, I was. Get off of my arm. Seriously, get off my no, arm. No, mine. No, let go. I was reading an article. You grab my, my. On Snapchat, and it was like the world's hottest vegan. Hot. And there's this guy that went vegan and he gained 42 pounds of muscle. Because before he was like a stick. See, yeah, vegan beefcake. And it says, student goes from ribby to ripped after switching to a plant-based diet. He went from 149 to 189, and he is a 24-year-old, world's hottest vegan. <laughs> yes, there we go. There we go. There's the before and after. I mean, Zachary's not into diet, so I don't think he gets it, but, you know. I get that he's muscular. I'm just not into that. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, bye. Okay. I was just replying to some you know, I gotta stay active. I gotta be interactive with my audience. You know, we have a lot. 
of Goodwill bags, so okay, don't wanna get copyrighted, mommy. Wait till I finish. Okay, so we're gonna drop all this crap off at Goodwill so it can make this car 25 pounds lighter. And then we're gonna go to kickboxing. And then we're gonna go to the camera store to see if we can get a little screw for this because I don't want this to be all stuff. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to spend some time putting everything back in this box. That was good. I feel like it's getting easier. Is it getting easier for you? Speak. Yes, it's getting easier for me too. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna get my uh, camera thing situated. Oh, that was a fail. I did not have a tiny little freaking screw. I don't feel like going all the way to freaking Bryn Mawr. Yeah, they they told us to drive like. How you know, long does it take to get there? Like a half an hour. Was, you know, just for a screw. Is, I wonder if the Radio Shack is still open. I don't know if that one's... Let's go, because they may but have... I'm time. hungry. Oh, you want to go home? I'm mm -hmm. hungry. All right. I'm hungry, Mommy. Need food. Ugh. Okay, that was one of the strangest experiences of, of my life. But it's 3.49 now, and basically what I did was I just... My neighbor spontaneously asked me to go to a basketball game that her daughter is playing in. <laughs> That was like really boring and bad. We talked about my problem and it was it was very strange. And she's just a very strange lady. But I mean she's nice, but she's she's very weird sometimes. But it, it, I don't know. I don't even know. But then we went to this kind of grocery store that was a really sketchy grocery store. But you could be 14 to work there, so I got a job application. It, it's very kind of weird uh, dirty store but i can work there <laughs> um it's within walking distance it's like right across the street and like the shopping center is right across the street from us so uh yeah i guess that's cool but it was, it was just really weird but i'm gonna go back to editing yeah what are we watching here zach you're pissing on it Jackass. so mean Okay, I'm really sorry guys if this vlog, which I know it is going to be really, really boring because I haven't done a lot of fun things today. Basically, I got up, I edited, I went to kickboxing, uh, I came home, I ate, I went back out to a really, it was, it was just kind of just weird and uncomfortable, the whole situation. And then um, I, my dad tried to take this camera to the hardware store for screw and then they're like, no, you're gonna have to call Canon and get a special screw because even the smallest screw was too big for this. And then we called them and they're like, they're, they're only open on weekdays so they can help us. So I just have to be really careful with this camera for the next few days until we get another screw. So, and then I just, I've been in a really bad mood, so I've just been editing because I don't know what else to do, and I'm not hungry, and I don't even know. Hopefully, I'll have better um, footage tonight when we go on our hike, because it's a sunset hike, and it's for an hour and a half, and there's lots of pretty scenery, and yeah, hopefully that will be more fun than the rest of my day has been. I'm gonna be very vague about this. I'm just, this is, it's like, it's actually a little bit while later, but I just wanted to like say something that was on my mind. Um, it happened, this did happen to me recently. I'm not gonna be specific at all, but don't try to force your religious beliefs on other people or can try to persuade them to think like you do when they don't. It's just, something you should not do people believe if you you are allowed to believe what you want to believe but don't try to t force that on other people or persuade other people to think that way because sometimes they just don't okay sometimes they, they just don't agree with you and you have to accept that and it makes me so angry when I by the way I'm gonna make a whole video about religion but and it makes me so angry angry when a certain religious group i have one in my head i'm not gonna say it because i don't want to bend anybody well like they believe that they they shouldn't be involved with anybody else that isn't their religion which i think is so 
wrong. You, you shouldn't, like if, like I read a comment once that was like, I'm blank religion and I'm falling in love with a guy that's not my religion and I don't know if what I should do and if he's gonna interrupt my relationship with blank and I, I'll let you guys fill in the blanks and there's people who are like oh yeah I totally agree with you you shouldn't fall for him and it, the, the Bible definitely says that that uh, this religion sh would, would ne should never fall in love with with a different religion, like, and that makes me so angry that that matters. <laughs> that was funny. That was good time. Going through bin, cause I was like, mommy, I was like, we need a bin to put extra pillows and blankets. So I was like, why not use this? So let's clear it out. Basically, I think you can dump all this stuff in the garbage. Oh my god, except this. <laughs> Raggedy Ann doll? No. Oh! What is that? Elmo. Oh, I remember him. He was around I in the early days. Three triple A's, and we can get him to play uh, again, maybe. Know, man. Yeah. What, mommy? I don't know if I want him that. Do you have an emotional attachment to this? No. <laughs> she has her own right. Yeah, no. yes. And her freaking cabbage patch doll and Zachary's just yeah, destroyed. Stripped it, stripped it down. <laughs> and put paint on it. <laughs> like you did to curb it. I don't know what the fuck that is. Okay, yeah, I think the rest of the stuff's garbage. And um, one, I just put a bunch of pillows and blankies in here in this bin and we went through that bin and a lot of it was garbage and some of it's giveaway giveaway over here garbage over here and um some another um problem i've been having is um i'm gonna say i'm gonna say it as many times as it's gonna take to get through all of your heads because clearly it's not working and what, what, like once or twice is just not enough, so I'm just gonna have to keep saying it until it gets through um, certain people's thick skulls. Um, if you couldn't tell, I'm a little ticked off, and there was a particular incident that happened recently that triggered this. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna say it again. Don't feel the need to exclude me from things because of the way I eat. It's such a lame ass excuse slash reason it's not even a reason yeah it's just an excuse just just stop there's this thing in life there's this like concept in life that some people just haven't grasped yet called being flexible which i'm able to which i have the capability to to do i'm able to be flexible in life i'm able to eat before i'm able to bring food with me so don't give me the lame ass excuse that i excluded you because you 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 wouldn't have have had anything to eat or you would judge me because of the way I'm eating no i am not that kind of person the only people i jokingly judge for the way they eat is my own family upstairs the three of them and they know that i'm joking i mean in certain cases i'm not joking in certain cases i get really pissed off with the way they eat just because of what they're eating and how much of it they're eating and they even know themselves that they shouldn't be doing that but like if i was going to like a birthday party and people were eating cake and pizza and crap i wouldn't judge them for it in my head i probably would be but i would never just like go and tell them like you shouldn't be eating that that's not healthy for you like oh i'm just sitting here by myself while everyone eats and i'm just not doing anything that is i'm like that i just not that's not the kind of person i am I am allowed to bring my own food, correct? I'm allowed to eat before I leave, correct? I'm just very triggered and shook right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna name names, I'm not gonna be specific, but these pat these two issues that I just talked about, I think are very important for people to understand that they are problems that need to be fixed. And I need to try to tell as many people as wa whoever's watching this, just, just understand that this is a problem for me and it needs to be fixed. So just do what you personally can do to not cause these problems. So if somebody, let's say, has celiac disease and they are, or they're just, or they have like some sort of intolerance to gluten, 
don't feel the need to exclude them from a birthday party because they can't eat the flour and the cake or they can't eat the crust the flour and the crust of pizza dough or whatever if someone's a vegan or a vegetarian don't feel the need to exclude them and because you're eating meat or cheese or whatever it's it's so unnecessary it's it's just a really lame bad excuse so i'm just gonna shut up now about this i think you guys get the idea i mean in th this case but like some people just don't get it just they just don't get it i don't know what's not to get but they just somehow don't understand that concept of people can be flexible and people can you sh shouldn't exclude people because of the way they eat in the story okay bye oh but first i want to show you the progress we're making on this closet we have to go through this bin, but that's not going to be too hard, I'm pretty sure. There's cobwebs everywhere. That's not why no one wants to come in here. Clean up this, you know, all this random stuff over here, and then deal with that. Yeah, this closet's bad, but so is this closet. I'll show you. But that doesn't mean we didn't make all that progress, you see? You see? So, um, yeah, this closet, there is crap in front of it. And, um, you can barely open it, as you can tell look look at that mm -hmm. it is filled to the max and there's another side to this closet which is under here this is the same closet there is who the hell knows what is in here we're gonna have to face that soon <laughs> did y'all know fun fact for the day that garlic replenishes red blood cells thank you do not drink alcohol. Just be watching this. Sleep deprivation causes hallucinations and delirium. Delirium. De what does that mean? Well, crazy. Oh well, I mean that's why I'm crazy. Back out of the gate, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from a different angle this time. Okay, so we're on our hike. This is for the vlog, okay. So, uh -huh. okay, this is for the vlog. So we're gonna go to the bathroom first, cause I gotta go, and so does Zach. And we're filming the first episode of our new series, <laughs> Albert Takes. We need to come up with a better name for that. Albert, Al Albert Takes something. It's, it's gonna be Albert Takes the certain place names, but we need to come up with like a name of the series. Albert, um, Albert. It's Albert Takes Blank. Albert Takes the World. Yes, Albert Takes the World. We need to we need to come up with a more creative name. We'll think of, we'll think we'll, we'll think about it. We'll sleep on it tonight. Okay. This is for the video. Okay. What's the voice we decided on? Money. This is the voice that we decided on. Oh. Chick Zachary. No. <laughs> oh, I'm walking on the railroad. Zachary, it's, it's your chance. No, the woodpecker. Zach, what's that? All the different birds that are here. No. You hear them all. Puppet. No. Tuft. 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 Tuft.
Lots of woodpeckers. This isn't just called hairy woodpecker. Song Sorrow. Blue Jays, Cardinals. Sparrows. Baseball tonight. Junko. <laughs> Cowbird. Flicker, woodpeckers. Woodpeckers? Yeah. Thrush. Oh, that's a beautiful bird right there. They look All the these woodpeckers are these they're, they're really nice. These two look a lot like similar. Yeah, they do. These two. <laughs> Make the rat noise. Rat. Gotta catch up. Don't you. Oh my god. Well, you know, this is kind of sort of going to fail because we lost everyone. Oh, actually, we never found them. We're supposed to meet up with people, and yeah, yeah, this, this whole park is really confusing, so. Whatever. We're hiking on our own. It smells like smoking fire. Oh, oh. There's also a trail, like if you go like that. So let's take this trail down. Oh, we're supposed to like, jump. Oh wait, no, you can go around here. Never mind. Yeah, supposed to jump. Okay. It's so pretty. Wow. Not so chilly up like over here, huh? <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if that tour is right there. Yeah. Let's go swim across the lake. I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. It's so pretty. So pretty. Hey. Hey. Time for Albert Sunset interview. Albert, sun's going down. Because sun sunset. Wait, I don't even know what to say. Albert, are you watching the sun go down? Why is the sun going down? Albert, do you see the sun going down? The sun is going down. Yeah, down for the night. Why? I thought the sun likes being up. Yeah, but you know, at nighttime the sun goes down behind the horizon. But why? Because the earth is rotating. I don't know. We're better anyway. Okay. Ready? Start over. Go ahead. Albert, are you watching the sun go down? The sun going down? Yeah, the sun goes down at night, you know. Why? I thought the sun likes being up. The sun does like being up during the day, but at night, it goes to other places. Where does it go? Other places around the world, like the other side of the world. Where's that? Places like, I don't know, Australia. Australia? I've heard they have a lot a lot of kangaroos there. Yes, they do, and koala bears, too. I love koala bears. They're so funny. You ever meet a koala bear? I wish I did. Yeah. But if they pee on you, they give you a disease. Well, it's not really good if anything pees on you, Albert. Really? Yeah. I mean, My if I... sister pees on me all the time, and she says, good luck. Hey, that's your business. Why? Why? Because we like you. I like you too. M O U S E. That's right. What was that noise? What was that? You might get eaten by a big fish. Ah! Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> and C. We were just skipping rocks, BT doubles. I'm skipping. <laughs> <laughs> Stop going. Deep dark woods. Old tree. It's got moss going on it. Yeah. Moss tastes good. Ew. Wanna try some? No. Fly on me. There's a fire, two fireflies on me. They one right there, one right there. They're not going off. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> I made the fire fire what doing? Where is it? Oh, it's in there. Mm, mm. Okay, I'm just going to go now. I can't run for it. These bitches ain't loyal. 
Okay, it's 11.04.5 now, and I think it's time for bed. <laughs> if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and share this video on my channel to those that you think might be interested. And leave me comments down below. The comment of the day will be, what is the latest you've ever stayed up until? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Love you. Bye.